Happy holidays and welcome to Flurring. Today I'm going to show you how to create a holiday card in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today we get to create a holiday card in Photoshop, which is so fun because, well, we did a lot of the work for you. We actually are providing a free template that you can use to create a really cool collage holiday card. Simply download the template from Flurn.com, load it into Photoshop, and then bring your photos into one of three groups. We'll show you how to arrange your photos and how to get rid of excess areas that you don't need. Then we're going to show you how to color match some of our handwritten custom text included in our template with the photos that you choose for your holiday card. And to finish it off, we're going to save it out for the web so you can include it in an email and save a little bit of money sending out holiday cards this year. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and take a look at our free holiday card template. Now, it's really simple to create a template just like this one. On the top here, we've got a couple different layers for some handwritten text. We've got uh, this little guy that says joy. You can include it, you know, in one of these boxes if you'd like, or here down on the bottom. And we've got a nice happy holidays as well. Now, here are the areas we're going to put our photos in, and they're very simple. At this point, we've just got a couple of different groups, and the groups have layer masks that define the visibility of where the photos are going to go. So we have our group one, we have our group two, and our group three. Now, if you wanted to create your own, they're very easy to do. Basically, just create with your rectangle marquee tool a shape that you'd like to fill in. So we can create a shape like that and then fill it with a color and then just subtract these areas out. So again, you can use our own, you can use the ones we provided, or you can go ahead and load up your own. So with these, basically, this is just showing you guys what is visible inside of the group. So anything you placed inside a group one, for instance, will only be visible where these green areas are, making your collage for you. So let's go ahead and bring some photos into Photoshop and we'll put them into the collage and you guys are gonna see how easy this is. All right, now it's time to load up all of our images into Photoshop. And to do so, we got a great tip for you. When you're loading a bunch of different images, go up to File, down to Scripts, and then go to Load Files into Stack. This is a very simple way that's gonna allow you to bring a bunch of different images into one document. So let's go ahead and hit the browse key here. And I'm just gonna shift click on all of our images we're going to use for our document. Now, this can be stuff that you've photographed throughout the year, just like happy moments of the family. This can be stuff specifically for Christmas. In this case, we've got some people Christmas tree shopping. So we're gonna bring it all into one holiday card. All right, let's hit open and it's gonna put all of those, we'll hit okay there. It's gonna put everything together in one document. So now that we've loaded all those files into a stack, they're here available for us. And we just need to click and drag these images from this document over to this document, making sure they're in one of these groups. So let's start off with this guy here. We're just gonna click and drag from one document over to the other. Now you're gonna see it's automatically just gonna show up in this area where our Christmas card is. Like obviously it's in this group and this group is saying, don't be visible anywhere except this area. So you could drag them all in individually and then size them. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and size our documents uh, while we're dragging them in. So let's hit Command T for our transform tool. Command T is going to allow us to make these larger or smaller really easily. So after hitting Command T, we're gonna go up here to the very top where it says W, that's for width, and here for height. All right, let's hit this chain link between those and then I can just simply make this quite a bit smaller and put this anywhere I'd like. In this case, here we go. You can also just grab the corners if you'd like to do that. Either way you wanna resize, it's totally cool with me. All right, that looks good. Now you can see it's including a little bit more than we want to, it's, we've got a little bit of like um, leftovers here in the other areas. Now you can stack your images on top of each other so that they just overlap, or really quickly, you can grab your marquee tool. This is a rectangular marquee I can just make a selection around that area and then hit the delete key, make a selection there and make a selection there and then hit the delete key. Really simple to do. All right, now we have a nice vertical shot. So we're gonna bring this in and let's go ahead and put this right about there. So command T, we'll go ahead and maintain our aspect ratio with our width and our height. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and delete 
that area there. All right, now we have a nice horizontal shot. So we're gonna click and drag this in. This is a great area. This is a area reserved for horizontal shots. So we're gonna hit Command T and we're just gonna simply scale this down. You guys can see this is really easy to do and you're not stuck. You know, if you want, you don't have to make it exactly this small. Let's say you wanna focus in on the family a little bit more. You can totally do that, just making it a little bit larger. And then just like we did earlier, just delete out the other areas that are overlapping the other rectangles. All right, we've got a couple more. You guys can see this goes really quick. Just bring this in. That even looks kind of cool too, doing stuff like this as well. Like if you have one image, uh, <laughs> just do that. Say, sorry guys, I, I took one picture this year and that's all you get. Happy holidays, suck it up. I don't care if you wanted more, you're not getting any. All right. There we go. But this is gonna look really good. All right, there we go. Now we have our next shot here. Again, a really nice family shot. Let's see if we can put this in the horizontal one as well. So we're gonna hit Command T, kind of scale this down a little bit. There we go. And that looks pretty good in the horizontal. Now you can other, do other cool things too. Like if you want one photo to occupy like a horizontal and a vertical slot, you could totally do that. Here we have this horizontal there and a vertical there too. You just go real crazy with it and get all kinds of <laughs> creative. All right, next we got one more portrait. This is gonna be right here. Really cool kid. And we're gonna get him nice and big there in the top left. All right, really simple to do. Just select out those other areas and delete them away. All right. Beautiful, so we've basically brought all of our images. This is just a bow, and instead of putting the bow in there, I decided to make this one horizontal and a vertical shot as well. We just need to make sure we delete it from right there. All right, perfect. Let's hit F for full screen, and we're almost done, guys. We've got all of our images in place. We're just gonna add a little bit of text and change the color of Happy Holidays, and we're gonna be done. All right, guys, now it's time to personalize our card a little bit more. We're gonna go in here where it says handwritten text. There we go. And we've got our happy holidays text, which is this guy right over there. Now I want this to actually be the same color as one of the colors in my image. Actually, this red is really nice. It's gonna bring out the red, all the different reds from this image. So let's go ahead and double click right here where it says happy holidays, which is gonna bring up our layer style. Now we can see we have a bunch of different options of what we wanna do with this happy holidays. Now in this case, we're gonna click on color overlay. There we go, so color overlay. And then here where we're gonna pick our color, let's click on our color. And then I'm just gonna use my eyedropper to click that color right there in our actual image. So let's hit okay there and okay there. And you can see this is the exact same color that's in there. And it does a really nice job. She's just the before and the after. It does a really nice job of actually looking. It brings everything together and really pops out the other reds in our photo. All right, let's add some text to finish this off. So we're gonna hit T for our type tool, click right down here, and we'll just say the Petersons. All right, nice generic family name. There we go, happy holiday from the Petersons. And this really does look great. If I got this in an email, I'd be like, man, those Petersons, they are on top of their holiday game. All right, let's go ahead and show you how to save this so you can put it in an email or text it or do whatever you want with it. All right, so we're gonna go to File, we're gonna go down to Export, and then we're going to go to Save for Web. Save for Web. Now, here we've got our JPEG. That's a really good file format. Okay, next we wanna make sure we're clicked on Convert to sRGB. This is gonna make sure it's gonna show up really nice on the internet. So we've got a JPEG, sRGB, and you don't have to change anything else. Go ahead and hit Save. We'll just type in the Petersons holiday, hit enter, and we are done. All right, guys, and that's all there is to creating a holiday card in Photoshop. Simply download our template. We've got three different collage options for you and some handwritten text that's included. You can do so on flern.com. After opening up our template, simply go to File, down to Scripts, and to Load Files into Stack. Here you can grab a bunch of different photos and put them into one document. Then it's time to drag those images into one of our groups that already has the collage made for you. 
Simply drag it in and resize your images, delete the extras, and you're good to go. In this case, we showed you how to match the Happy Holidays text with the red in our photo using a simple color overlay in the layer effects. Simply double click on the layer, go to color overlay, click on that color, click on the eyedropper, and you're good to go. Finish it off with some text, save it out for the web, and it's time to blast it out to everyone you know. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me for the holidays. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to learn more Photoshop and photography, simply click on your screen right now. Just go boop. There's a subscribe button there and we'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode, just leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. From ya. <laughs> thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. One at a time or individually. Those, that's actually the same thing. One at a time or individually. Uh, either one you'd like. Ooh. Ugh, my throat, it's getting dry, can't speak. Now it's time to blast everyone out and make sure your family looks cuter than theirs because after all, that's what the holidays is all about. Then it's time to drag those images into, then it's time to drag those images into, into one of, then it's time to, <laughs>